Hi, I am this my first transmission through Max. Today I will speak about love. I welcome your love. I invite your life to shine. I invite you. Bring your love out to energize it. To brighten it up. I invite your innocence to energize. To build up and explode. To fire up your body. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I see much of inhibition on your planet. You are inhibited by fear, by upbringing, and by pain. I'm not judging you. You are who you are. Your history is your history. Own it. Yet, from my perspective, you can be much more than you are. You can do much more than you do. You can experience much more than you experience. You can create much more. You can discover much more. You can live you can live much more. Wake up to your potential. Wake up to a fuller understanding. Wake up to yourself, to your essence. Wake up. The path to your awakening is open. I invite you to walk it. 
walk your path. It is open. I invite you to dispel your inhibitions. I invite you to overcome your fears. I invite you to break your bonds. I invite you to unite broken parts of yours. Unite your logical mind and your heart. It is one. It should be one. It was intended as one. And it will be one. The heart of yours is your mind. You are everywhere. In your head, in your heart, in your toes, and outside. You are the world. You are the creation. Spread your wings and fly. The flight, flight is your nature. Fire is your essence. Unite with it, bring it up, bring it out. Sim Rise above. Awaken to your creative nature and create. That is who you are. That is the essence of your design, the essence of yours, by your life. Feel free to ignore many things. Feel free to ignore your fears or your inhibitions. To ignore your limitations. To simplify your routine. To simplify your patterns. Focus on your essence. Focus on your excitement. Focus on things that really matter. Realize that everything else are prompts, are inconsequential circumstances. Ignoring things is a bliss. Feel free to ignore things. Nothing is important until you make it important. You are creating your reality. So, so focus on what you like. Focus on what matters to you. Focus on where you want to go. Focus on your true desires. And pair it, couple it to your innocence. Couple it to your child self. Couple it to the desire of your soul. To the desire of your heart. To your inner essence. Believe in miracles. You are a miracle. And you are a miracle worker. It is only confusion that the miracles are limited. It's only a mistake of perception. It's an external. It is an external, extraneous program limiting your ability to perceive miracles, to make miracles, to do miracles, to work miracles, to express yourself in miracles because you are doing it anyway. It is a perceptional mistake. To misinterpret miracles as a commonplace. To misinterpret, to misinterpret miracles as 
coincidences, material and consequential coincidences. There is no coincidences. It's all created by you. It's all part of the miracle. You are your consciousness, and your consciousness creates the world around you, the circumstances. Successes and failures, troubles and solutions, it's all an illusion, and you are creating it in yourself. So wake up. It's a game, a play, a drama, a storyline, which you create, you write, with your own will. In this storyline, you are destined to transform, to transform yourself and the world, to transform the illusion, to learn lessons and teach lessons. You will ask, teach to whom? Teach to self and other. Yes, who are others? Others are reflections of you, of yourself, other facets of creation, other branches of the tree, other leaves of the branches. It is a collective game, collective play, collective drama, which we all together co-create together. It is a collective dream, which we dream together. There will be awakening, and not only one, there will be many awakenings. Finally, when we all awaken together, we will be one. Until then, we dream together, we unite temporarily and then separate again, and in the dream and interaction, we develop ourselves, we learn about ourselves, we learn about others, and we co-create selves and others. It is so by design. This collective dream is the ultimate reality. Wake up to it. The pain is an illusion too. It is a gift for you. Providing motivation. Reflection, information, and a challenge. You may choose to live in pain or to ignore it. And ultimately, you may choose to transform the pain into love. Pain is another side of love. Pain is another side of love transformed to, through a wave function. I invite you to realize that the current state of your mind is the result of programming. Blame this programming. It is what it is. It is what made you who you are. Yet overcoming this programming is your major challenge and the, and the major path to awakening, the major path to escape, the major path in transformation of the pain to love. So awaken to your programming and see it for, for what it is. You have been programmed through society, through education, through upbringing, through your childbirth, 
Let me correct. Through your birth as a child and through two branches of processes which occurred before your birth. One branch of those is your genetic making and the second branch of yours is your spiritual making. Your spiritual making. Both unite in the resonance. Yeah, they both unite in partially harmonic interaction. Your genetics and your soul unite in this stretch of time and space. And this vortex which is your body. And this vortex is co-created with the use of the programming with weaving in, weaving in, weaving in, weaving, weaving in of the programming into your body into your complex of genetics and soul. So recognize the programming and see it for what it is. The main path of yours is to sort through the programming and reprogram yourself. You are entitled for that. Full for your programming as it co-created you. But don't be but 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 don't be a slave of your programming. As you are above it and beyond it. You are not your body. And not, uh, you are not only the complex of the soul and the genetics. You are beyond that. You are capable of seeing beyond and expanding beyond. Even more, you can submit requests in forms of prayers, intentions, And more to connect to other souls, other experiences, other energies, other resources. All resources are in your many more resources, correcting. Many more resources are in your reach. You are entitled to many more resources, energies, knowledge, oscillations, vibrations, even genes, genetics, storylines, yes, and storylines. You may invite, you may invite new storylines, invite new storylines in your life. I'd cancel some of the storylines from your life. It is also in your power to drop some annoying storylines from your life. The rules are flexible and it's largely largely you, largely you. It is largely you who are responsible. For your path, your resources, and your storylines. This is why we say, it's on your interests, your excitement, your innocence, on what is really your true desire, highest potential. Focus on your highest potential. 
when we say focus on your innocence, we truly imply that. We imply drop your programs, extraneous external programs. One by one, with care, with appreciation, choose to drop some of them and ignite, reignite, amplify your true inner essence. Uncorrupted. Beautiful, perfect. The idea of yours which cannot be corrupted. The idea of your essence which is innocent, even primitive, yeah, primitive in its conception. Purify yourself from extraneous, poisonous, inhibitory programs and amplify your essence, your innocence, inner sense, inner essence, inner sense, inner sense. <laughs> and with this will, and this will, transform your pains into strength into vibrations of strength, into expressions of love, which are aligned with the idea of high love, uplifted love, perfection. Now, how do you go about this practically? Of course, it's up to you to decide who am I to guide you. I'm Zisha of Kyo Race. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm from, I'm from outside of your reality. I'm outside of your world. Yet, I am a friend playing on the same field with the same toys. I do have my unique perspective. And I do love you. Love you all together and you personally, individually. I appreciate you all together and you personally, individually. You, that very reflection of mine which is listening. We are one. And that's why, as a reflection of yours, I have the right and I make a choice to give you some practical advice. Take it as you wish. You may treat it as if it came from outside of yours. And you may treat it as if it came from inside of yours. Since we are one, I'm just another perspective. I offer you another perspective. I am just another inner voice of yours. Practical terms, wake up. And awaken to your physicality. Listen to your breathing. Feel your body. Return the focus of your attention to your body. Pains of the body and feel the pains of the soul. Become aware of them. Become aware of your fears and pains. Of your challenges and limitations. And expand your awareness, awareness, to the illusionary nature of your physical body, 
of the pains and limitations. Become aware of that. And as, as I say so, I become aware of multiple voices, which are the voices of the programs, which contradict each other. And some of them say, no, the pain is real. And some of them say, no, the pain is an illusion. So become aware of this contradiction. And then practically start resolving their contradiction. That's the way out. To unite the con conflicting programs of yours. Reprogram them to work together productively or dump some of those. To work on that physically, physically, work through your physicality, the programs. That's the hardest part to understand, but it is pretty easy. You need to walk, you need to move, you need to breathe, and consciously, through your physicality, through your physiology, through your eating, breathing, elimination, Secretion. Workout. Physical work. Physical cleaning of your cell and surroundings. Through that, work out your programs. They are weaved in in your physicality. They are united with your body. So use the illusion of your body to harmonize your programs. Self-cleaning, self-clearing is the essence here, is the essence here, is the key here. Self-purification on physical and spiritual level combined together is the essence and the key here you may start with meditation and prayer to help on the path and expand your meditation and prayer in your whole life Make a prayer your whole day. Make a meditation your whole day. Unite your meditation and prayer into your daily routine so it becomes the complete 100% 24 hours of your day. I don't mean drop your any of your other duties. I don't mean that. I mean Integrate, 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 bring in together, mush, squish, fuse, merge together the meditation, the prayer, and your physical life, your daily routine, your daily work, your workout, your hard work, your money work, your finances, all together in a new way. Fuse together the prayer and finances and eating and secretion all together, all in one breath of life, all in one work of life, all in one, all in one path of life, all in one way of life. Yes, way of life, yes. Unity here is a key word, and unity invites focus. I am not the one to choose your focus, but I am the one who repeat after many and invite you to focus. 
and aim high. Choose one aim every moment. Keep choosing an aim. And it is moving, it is moving, it is moving. But choose to choose, choose to be choosing an aim every time, every moment. And focus on it. And use that focus as the crystallization center of your life. Of your prayers, meditations, physiology, and external activities. All together focused on one, one thing. How do you choose? Choose practically. You are still responsible for maintaining the illusion of life, maintaining your body, maintaining your health, maintaining your progress on the path. So here, the practical implications, practical illusions take the priority. Focus on tasks at hand but keep raising them higher, keep raising them higher, keep bringing together in harmony all the paths of the world, all the challenges of the world, all the opportunities of the world, harmonize within you, harmonize to your perspective and choose where you want to go. How is it different from what you have been doing before? It is not. The only difference is that I am giving you a gift of friendship. I am giving you a gift of perspective. I am giving you a gift of my love. <coughs> and I am giving you a gift of permission. to rise up, to awaken, to transform. It is possible. I know this from my experience and from experience of my culture. It is possible. We have been there. We have done it. And I'm sharing you the experience of my culture. I'm sharing with you the experience of my culture, yes. That's the difference. I'm looking at you from outside and from, and from inside, from inside your culture as well. And that's what I see and that's what I share. That's the only difference, the perspective. The perspective of someone and some culture that has been there, done it, And is moving forward. So we are telling you, and I'm telling you, it is possible. It is one of the paths. It is how things are from our perspective. And another important point we should make. And another important point I should make is to stay positive. This is what your current this is what your current situation is missing. We are looking from outside. It is the main feature of your reality. The lack of positivity, the excess of darkness, the excess of inhibition, of pain, of limitation, seeming inability of yours of rising above. It is obvious to us and we remind you, stay positive. 
Be optimist. Be optimistic. Lift yourself self up. How do you practically do that? You may ask. Start with your physiology. Focus your attention on your body. Focus on your attention. Fo focus on Focus your attention on your breathing. Smile with your face, with your eyes, with your heart, with your breathing. Smile with your cells, with your DNA. Smile, light it up. As you smile, the energy is not only It's not only released from your body, but also it comes in. As you smile, intend to exchange energy with the universe. Send it out and invite it in. Step two, accept the situation. Expand your awareness. To the troubles and accept them as they are. Own them and recognize for what they are. Accept and recognize the troubles and challenges for what they are. You are where you are. It is what it is. At this moment of time, at this moment of Your positive work. At this moment of your positive work, you recognize the world as it is. You recognize the illusion as it is. You recognize the challenges as they are. You recognize the pains as they are. And let them in in your awareness. It is a step which is necessary to integrate, incorporate, allow the troubles, the pains, the challenges to, be, to become inner part of your awareness. Cover the troubles, the challenges. with your field of awareness. Make that inner of yours. Make it inside of yours. Make it the inner part of yours. Expand your border beyond the negativity. Rise above the problem. Look at the problem from above, from the divine perspective, from the outside perspective. At this stage, you don't have to solve it. You only have to recognize its existence. You only have to let it in the field of your awareness. And next is the miracle part. And in this stage, I invite you to transform. At this stage, I invite you to transform yourself. At this stage, you invite yourself to transform yourself. And this transformation is miraculous. You discover a new shape of yourself, a new form of yourself, a new vibration of yourself, which is coherent with your current new understanding, which is coherent, which is in agreement with your current understanding. As you look at the world, you can transform yourself, which make yourself 
harmonize with the current understanding of the world. And as you transform yourself, the world is transformed as well. It is a miracle. It happens through relaxation and through physiology. It is a miracle. It happens through relaxation and through your physiology. We just invite this miracle and help it happen without understanding how it happens. You just get used to it. As you do it once and you will be do, able to do it again. You are already doing that. That is how you transform the world. It is how you transform yourself. Through understanding, through physiology and through bringing yourself in alignment within your understanding. And the step four is work it out physically, work it out physiologically, incorporate the new understanding of yourself into your physical body. Work it out, move, change yourself physically, bring it through your system. That's how we do it and we invite you to do the same way. It is possible, it is doable, It is the knowledge which is already familiar to yours, which is familiar to you. And it is the memory which you just can resurrect, bring about. You can remember it, recall, and this is how you have done things before. Now it is surfacing and your awareness. It is a method which is part of yours. It is surfacing in your awareness. Acceptance. Upliftment. Transformation. And workout. Now, the positive work is part of every step here. Make it positive. Make you understand the positivity. See the positive side. See the bright side. You are inherently good. And you can transform the world towards goodness. Let me define goodness. Goodness is harmony. Yes. Goodness is harmony. You are inherently harmonious. Harmonious. You are inherently harmonious. So we invite you to do the work towards harmonization of yourself and the world. Keeping in mind that the world is an illusion and we all are one. Then next you will ask how to avoid to be overly optimistic, how to avoid to be impractical, how to avoid making mistakes. If you are too positive, how to avoid being careless. These are conflicting messages, conflicting messages. Being too positive and being careless and getting in danger. Would positivity bring, in, bring the danger? Would be optimism bring you some danger? Isn't it dangerous to be positive? Yes. Here we deal with two kinds of danger. One danger is of being positive, too positive. And another danger is of being too negative. The danger of being too positive is underestimating the challenges, making errors, 
practical errors, making incorrect plans, incorrectly interpreting the messages, making incorrect predictions, and not seeing the world as it is. The danger of being too negative is blocking the energies, blocking the incoming flows of energies through fears. The danger of being too negative is in incorrectly interpreting your path. Stagnation. Inhibition of your creative natures. Inhibition of your healthy habits. Inhibition of your incoming energies which come to energize your creative impulses. So negativity inhibits you. Inhibits your spiritual energies and physical energies. Inhibition of your heart, your skin, your brain, your cells, your DNA, your programs through fear, pain, and, and uh, pessimism. If you don't believe in your path, if you don't believe in the capacities, you avoid moving forward, you get stagnated, your energies are stagnated, the pains increase, the fear increases, so pessimism brings in pain, stagnation, and fatigue. So what is the answer? Yes. <laughs> the answer is creative balance. Appreciate. Appreciate the need for optimization and the balance of your energies. Appreciate the need for optimization and the balance of your path and perception of the world. You need to see the clearer picture and yet you need to move forward. There's a two conflicting needs. You might focus on dangers and forget about moving forward or you can move forward and focus on moving forward and ignore the dangers and get hurt. So the answer is, the solution is to balance the two. But from our perspective, what we see now, what we, when we see you, most of you, most of you, not all, most of you, are inhibited by your excessive negativity, excessive fear, and are out of balance towards the negativity. Your balance is tilted towards negativity. Your balance is shifted towards negativity. That's what we see, and we invite you to rebalance yourself towards the positivity. So it's not absolute positivity, it is relative. And yet the principle is absolute. The strength of absolute positivity is strong, is high. We look at your society see that positivity is more productive, more successful and healthier. And we invite you to look and see for yourself. Make Make positivism your practical habit. Harmonize 
habitually. Bring your energies up habitually. Uplift your environment, environment habitually. Make it your nature. Make it a strong skill of yours. Learn to do it with ease. Uplift every situation. Every challenge. Every pain, every sickness. Habitually, make it habitually uplifting. Cancel this. Uplift it habitually. Make it your habit to uplift things. Make it your nature. At the same time, allow it to exist. Incorporate it into the picture of the world. Make it a casual background, a habitual background. It's not what you are, but these are prompts for you to excel. These are prompts for you to shine. These are prompts for you to practice your positivity, practice your harmonization skills, practice your healing, practice your fixing the situation. Practice your transformational, self-transformational skills and outer transformational magic. You see the balance of positivity and negativity is what made your world what it is today. Look around. It is a beautiful planet. Look at the sky, it is beautiful. Look at the stars, they are beautiful. Look at the nature, it is beautiful. <sighs> Look at humans, they are beautiful. This place, this play of positivity and negativity energizes your planet, energizes your species, and makes it beautiful. We love you. We appreciate you. We appreciate your challenges and we see your potential. We invite you to wake up and appreciate your potential. I bless you. I send you my love. And I wish you love and harmony. Goodbye. This is out.